with Gordon and Kathy Michaels, and we bought this farm many years ago. This is Cheeseville Dairy. I bought it when I, my dad helped me buy the land, but I was able to borrow the money for the cows and some machinery on my own. I was born and raised on a small dairy farm with like 24 cows, and uh, this came for sale because the farmer had lost its site. Yeah, I was 20 and she was 19 when we bought it, and we were like, if only we married had been... six months. <laughs> yeah, we were married six months. And uh, so we started with 40 cows, and then we did a little remodeling, and we're at 60 cows. And then we built a piece on the barn, and we we're at 90 cows. Then we started building harvester silos, and we, we built three of those. We started buying more land. We bought this farm, it was only 89 acres, and that's all we owned. And then fortunately, we were able to add, you know, another 120 and another 120 and the, kind of at the height of the height of this farm size machinery and land wise we're a little over 3,000 acres we remodeled this house like four times in 2013 mm -hmm. good, then, we, yeah. we built the last freestall barn and uh, has cross ventilation in it uh, seven mile an hour wind in it most of the time beautiful cows love it then we built a heifer lot across the road and uh, it's an open lot, and we probably had four or five hundred animals down there at a time. And worked good. It was on sandy enough soil. The drainage was good, and it was fine. Then we had a chance to buy another farm that has about 500 stalls. All at once, we're milking like 940 cows. It's amazing. It's a, a double ten Germania parlor with all all the good stuff on it. They can get them milked. In seven hours, they can milk them, and uh, every every milking, there's an hour for power washing, oh, yeah. steam cleaning, and clean up. So when the next shift comes in, it's like they walk into a fresh, a fresh dairy. And this is my husband Ray and together we are the herd managers here at Cheeseville Dairy. Um, so my favorite part of being on the farm is interacting with the cows. I think we have a very happy herd. Our cows um, are super chill. They're, they don't kick. They're not afraid of us. Um, we can walk through the pens and some of them will let us pet them. So I, my favorite part is working directly with them. And it was in the, the fall of 72, I, I think September 30th was our first time milking cows here. So it'll be exactly 51 years. <laughs> 51 years now, yep. You know, we have four children, and they've all worked on the farm, and none of them really wanted to take over the management. They like working for us. And they could take it over, but I guess their heart's not there no more. So that's why we decided to sell. The other thing is all of our help, uh, apparently we treat them well enough because uh, if the new owner buys the farm and the cows, uh, Ray, who's our herdsman, should mention, he's going to stay on, and all the milkers are going to, all the help's going to stay like it is. So, you know, if anybody comes in and buys it and is a turnkey operation, they don't have to look for help or cows. So this barn, compared to uh, the other one or others, uh, has an airflow of uh, seven or eight miles per hour. And then all the cows that are on this farm here are at least seven, eight pounds more than the barn that is not tunnel ventilated. Extremely good herder cows, usually they're at between 92 and 95 pounds of milk a day. With at a, 94 today. 94 today. Just under four butter fat and cell counts under 200. Our hearts are in farming. It, he couldn't keep me out of the barn. He actually didn't want me to be the one out there all the time or other maybe Susie Homemaker doing the cooking and cleaning, but... Yeah, but she had but to be I there. She, did, <laughs> she didn't know a cow from a giraffe. <laughs> I, I mean, she had no idea what was going on out there, but she was there from the first day the semi-loaded cow showed up. Well, I mean, I've been always had a nice yard, but the last probably three years I put a little the here and some flowers here and there and I just I gotta be busy I guess and if I'm not doing the cows and milking and whatever I gotta do something so we keep the farm pretty. Yeah and I you know we keep hearing from people that go by and they say you've got the most beautiful farm. The only other thing that's interesting and 51 years is a long time don't get me wrong but 
in this house in the old stall barn, which is a 36 by 110 feet long. That's these are the only two original buildings. Every everything else has been every torn down. Tree, every, every, every tree, every tree, everything. For one bush off there, every tree, everything. Yeah. So we <laughs> planted we here. Planted and watched Bam. it. To, watch it grow. We are really willing to help the new owner out. I've got a shop guy that's just excellent. We do most, most he does most of the maintenance on all the equipment here. So we got that and I've got the relationships with the landlords that have gone on forever. You know, we've been well respected in the area, been here a long time and we're not moving out of the area. We'd be we, here for him if yeah, we need anything. We plan on being across the road <laughs> and so even landscaping. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so any, any help that they would need. And if they don't want any help, we're not gonna stick our nose yeah. in how they run the farm. It's, once they buy it, it's theirs. Mm -hmm.